Hey guys, I'm getting ready to go to the island and uh, spend the night there. But meanwhile, João from Papa Milha, that canoe over there, invited me to have a barbecue here for lunch. So we're gonna have a quick bite here and then we'll go to the island. Okay guys, the tide has gone down about, I don't know, two meters already. Uh, all these other boats are staying here for the night as well, so I won't be on my own, which means there will be plenty of barbecues around. <laughs> and the wind is going down slightly. Um, it has rotated from west to south southwest. I'm going to uh, wait to see where it ends up um, before I put up the shelter. Uh, I got a really small tarp and it's a lightweight tarp I use for my hiking but that should be enough of a shelter for the night. Have I told you before that I love the lazy jacks? <laughs> I have cleaned the boat already, uh, I can, it's all organized, I've got my backpacks in there, my cameras, my all my gear and I have no problems whatsoever with the sail. And it's not flapping and it's not going all over the place. Brilliant. All with two pieces of string. That's all there is. No fixings, I've got no blocks, nothing. I've got two pieces of string 
and the shackle at the top of the mast. Simple things in life and it feels so good. Half past nine. It's dark already. I think I might have an early night. Good morning guys. This is the view from my bedroom window. We had a really sunny day yesterday, 40 degrees, but today, well, I don't think we're gonna have anything even close to that. Olá, bom dia. All these blocks here were part of warehouses, because on this island they used to have um, fish farms and um, they used to make salt as well. As you can see, the island is disappearing. Um, the sand is being shifted from this side of the island to the other side, 
Um, so all this here was land before where the houses were. Now there's nothing left. I can still remember when I was um, a kid uh, spending a few nights inside the, what was left of the houses, no roof anymore, but uh, we would do a fire around the corner and stay the night and, you know, do what you do when you're uh, with friends. Many years ago, tons of oysters used to come out of this estuary. Now there's nothing but shells. Maybe one day we'll have oysters again here. And foragers over there. around Rat Island and as you can see the island is nothing but a set of mud walls nowadays so on high tide it's all fills up with water and all that's left are these mud walls with I don't know what you call, call these these bushes or marshes or whatever um, that's what's keeping the the walls here if otherwise they would have gone all the sand parts of the island have gone have been dragged away That's a good eight pound of jellyfish. When forager hits it with the dagger board, I can feel every one of them. That building there with the tower, that used to be an oyster uh, processing plant.
done for this week, guys. I spent a nice day or two days in uh, Brat Island, and that's exactly why I built Forager. I will go back to the island soon. Um, maybe do some foraging. There's plenty of uh, clams, cockles, razor fish. Uh, we might do foraging and we cook them there. That'll be awesome. So, guys, stay safe, and I'll see you next week.